we're going to take a look at one of the laser cut wood kits that I started on for the module project. So let's go. Hi, I'm Tom Kovichak, and I've been working on Higgum Botham's coal and sand kit from Bar Mill Scale Model Works. Let me show you what I have on my workbench right now. And I'm getting ready to primer some of these detail parts right here. Uh, I have this on the little T-pin right here so I could do. And I have to drill some holes in the scale on the bottom of the scale right here and the bottom of the chimney so I could put a primer coat on that. But here's what I've been doing. Now, I took all of this right here. This, these are all the parts right here that we need. And here is the scale drawing of it. And as you'll notice right here, I have it underneath glass. I, I made a copy of it so I could have both this and the scale drawing at the same time. I also made some copies of the picture. This right here. The photographs. And so I could reference them, you know, to see some ideas. Now the drawing on on here is not exactly the same as you could tell right here. The the porch is not as large as the porch that's on there. And I worked on a couple of different sections at a time. I I worked on this right here and uh, primed it. And while I was waiting for that and started working on the porch, which is a lot of small parts on it, as you can see right there. And I like the stair stairs that they have. And also this area right here where the scale is and the roof. So while, you know, things were drying, I, I went from one section to the next and, uh, you know, put the sign over here on this. I'm going to have to uh, paint this before I put it on there. And I... I had a whole bunch of rubber bands to hold this together and what had happened was they all dry rotted. I only, out of the about a couple hundred rubber bands, I only got two of them. But I put this extra piece right here. I'm going to drill a hole right in the, in the center of this so I could drop a LED down in here for the light and run the wire up through the top of this and run it down the side of the building down through the bottom but this is what it's going to look like put this together like this and then this part right here and then the roof section covers all of this this part here fits in the roof right here so i painted the windows there just about everything is ready to go i'm going to um, take this outside and put a primer coat on that and while this is drying I'll be able to assemble this stuff right here I'll drill the hole in here so I could put the LED in there I'll now it the roof comes with a um, a sheet that I have underneath the glass right here that I put a coat of paint on and it's a sticky back Right there. There's two ways I could have done it. I could have either put it on here before I curved this and uh, glued everything on the bottom of it, which would have been simple. But now that I have it this way, I'm going to have to uh, set this thing out, and I'll put this down on, put that sur on the the painted surface on the. Um, painters tape like this I have it folded over and I'll just sit this on top of there like this and put it down real carefully I'm not doing it carefully right now but you get the idea put it down like that and then roll it over 
onto it. And if it doesn't work out, then we'll make it look like it's uh, the roof is uh, distressed and uh, we'll do some things with that. This is a pretty simple kit. I've, I've tackled the, uh, the main building first and there's two other sections of it. There's a shed that goes with it that is a little bit shorter than this. This will this will be that length right there. I think that's almost seven inches and the shed's just a little bit shorter than that and the um, trestle that goes behind it and we'll work on that one last but this has a lot of small detail on it. I had to cut out a piece here for where the chimney is and uh, put some extra pieces in here uh, for the, I guess you call it Wayne's coat, uh, and the little trim on the top of it. This is an antique white right here, by the way, and this is a uh, warm white, I think, but I made it red, white, and blue. The window's red with the white trim, and uh, it's not going in there. But anyway, you get the idea. I did it red, white, and blue. But uh, that's what we have so far. We're going to be working on the uh, shed, which is a little bit smaller. And that's this thing right here. And that's where this uh, tank goes. And uh, after that, we'll be doing the trestle which is this right here. Okay, uh, not counting uh, waiting for the glue to dry and stuff like that. I would say that took maybe four hours at the most. You know, cutting everything out, reading the directions, painting it, putting it together. Of course, you know, waiting for the glue to dry and wait for the paint to dry took a little bit of extra time. But uh, while paint was drying, I worked on another section this part right here has to be painted yet. I left this uh, unpainted and I'll, you know, I wanted to uh, stain this once the, uh, once it's assembled and I put a coat of paint on this. I put the primer here, but I left this, these uh, two pieces of wood on the edge unpainted. So I'm going to stain that and this is going to be covered like a little with say a little bit of soil and stuff like that so uh, you're not really going to be able to see a lot of that because uh, this part this tread right here is going to be real dirty and you know that's what the trucks go over to be weighed a couple more hours worth of work on this one maybe an hour at the most maybe i wouldn't say a couple hours the detail parts once i have the primer on it uh, that's going to take a long time to paint each individual piece. There's a lot of detail in here, uh, especially right here and with the barrels and the spool of wire and the, uh, that one fell over. It's fun. Uh, I haven't done one in about, uh, it's been over a year. I think uh, the uh, one right here was the last one I did and that is uh, the uh, tower gas by Foskill Models. Uh, I like doing these laser wood kits. They're fun. Uh, they're easy to put together. Don't be intimidated by them because they are real easy. And let me show you the module cam. That's what the module looks like right now in the living room. No extra light, just the light from the slider. Uh, as soon as I get uh, a little bit further on this, I'm going to go down there and cut up the uh, pink foam and set it in place, set everything in place. And then I'm going to work, you know, once I get finished with all the sections of this one, I'm going to go on the computer and work on the track plan. I have the basic idea, like I said in the last video, and I'm just going to put it on paper or on the computer, work on that. And the next video coming out is going to be showing you how I'm doing the um, turnouts because I know uh, you know we're going through like over two and a half inches of pink foam and um, the road bed and the plywood on the bottom but I'm just going to put the 
servo, like I said, right underneath the, the uh, switch, and I'm going to show you how I do that and how that's going to work. So, until the next time, we'll see ya. And here goes the module cam again. We'll end with that.